whatever it is you want to learn, there is an art in that. And to really be this, to grow from within, to unfold from within. Which I is a matter of you get to know yourself through others and through experience. You learn, you become aware of yourself and how life has led you from the past to the present moment, right here, right now. And into the future, every now leads to the next, leads to the next. However you want to look at this thing as of time, if it's real or not real or what it is, what is it really? Which is really the question brings me to that. What is it really? Reality. Reality as we experience it, as we create it. And as we all live in our own reality, our awareness, our thoughts, our knowledge, our perceptions, is our truth. What we see is what we, what's true to us, what's real to us, what we hear. When we go by our impressions, they are real to us. And our way of being and all of that together is really, that's who we are. We all live in our own world and we're all separate from one another as we all live in a separate reality. What is real to me is not real to you. So also the point here of realize to actualize is to, to be real, to get real. To be real with one another, whoever we are with. If we allow for the space to create, and to create space so the other person can express themselves, and we understand them, so we get to know them. We give them space. Or we invade the space of another person. Which is just like when one country invades another country. We invade their space by telling them that the way they are is not okay, or we cut them off, or we uh, start arguing with them, instead of creating space, which is the natural way. Something we have forgotten, you know, to simply be present with one another. And to be like a child. Children are that, definitely, they are present. And so this is just, well, here, a reminder. It's just something well, we all have forgotten. Again, which is our nature which is we come into this world, you know, this is with our nature, our personality, which of course we develop as a result of the environment we grow up in and the effect it has on us and how we respond to it, react to it. Who we become, nature and nurture. And so yeah, well, we grew up away from that because we were nurtured a certain way or we grew up and so we became set in our ways through a certain routine and certain habits, a certain way of thinking, so we usually react to things in the same way, laugh about the same things, see the same things, think the same things, say the same things, while always looking for something new, a new stimulation, a new, uh, new entertainment, new stimulation from the external, not in order not to be bored, because we learn to always be busy, which is where the whole time, space, Thing got messed up. Where we are in the time thing, that's where it begins. <clears throat> because if the now is all there is, there is no time. Because well, now is time. <laughs> and that's well, time, space, it's a space. And that's the place to be. And it's how you are in that space. You know, to be a space creator instead of a space invader. <laughs> and the time is now. And wherever you are, wherever you are, that's where you are, that's where you need to be. And it's about how you are and that you are with others, that you are real. Which is a matter of opening yourself up to some, to, to, to be beyond the personal perceptions and the judgments and evaluations and what you look at and what you think. And the same old over and over. And the routine and just doing whatever and not really questioning that. And with your beliefs and your opinions, we all think the way we do. And again, what's real to me is not real to you. So what is real? What is that? Again, this here is to help you understand that for yourself. And not just to conceptually understand that, to realize you, to realize that, but to be that, to become that. And that's the actualization. And that is giving birth to that within yourself.